Do you think uh, exercises or day regime or our mental state plays a big role in losing weight? Yes, uh, it plays a very big role because uh, if we exercise regularly, then we are burning the calories. We are also enhancing the strength of our digestive fire. We are also cleaning the channels. We are cleaning the toxins from the body. So exercise plays a very important role. And uh, oppositely, if we don't exercise, we are actually depositing this, uh, these things in the body. You know, the toxins and the channels are blocked. Mm. Our daily routine, this also plays a very important role because our daily routine is uh, primarily connected or primarily helps our body to stay in a rhythm and everything in our body works in a rhythm including our digestive system so when we are eating food at regular times we are sleeping at regular times we are waking up at regular times we are doing things regularly so then the body actually remains in a state of balance so these things play a very important role and of course psychological uh, state of the woman is very very important i have seen some women they come to us uh, they are actually doing regular exercise they are also following a very good diet they don't eat like extra you know cal calories they don't eat all these carbohydrates and fats still they are gaining weight so either they have some underlying uh, disease for example when they have thyroid problem yes. or they have hormonal disturbance you know like uh, polycystic ovary disease so they can gain weight because of that problem so here we want to address the root cause and of course uh, sometimes they have this uh, psychological or emotional disturbance you know emotionally something is going on they are not happy they suppress their emotions they try to not share their feelings with anybody somebody said uh, something to the the woman she feels bad and she keeps it inside so this then this block is uh, you know replicates in the physical body in any form even in the form of sometimes these fibroids and um, tumor in the breast or these things are very common i have seen many many cases in our our practice where the cause can be at the psychological level so we have to really understand uh, where is the cause and work on that so that we can get a permanent solution otherwise what happens that many times um, women they take some kind of you know diet or some kind of uh, you know products to lose weight now there is so many of these products available in the market but they can lose weight but after some time they gain it back or even sometimes they increase more so that means that we have not worked on the root cause of the problem so this is the main uh, principle of ayurveda that whenever we want to address a problem we must look at the root cause of the problem exactly i would like to speak a little bit more about diets because so many western women they take up some different kind of diets but they don't give um, long term result they very fast regain the weight or sometimes they regain even more yes so what is the best diet according to Ayurveda or maybe you don't use this word diet? Well, I think according to Ayurveda, first thing is we have to understand our nature. You know, if I am uh, what kind of body I have, vata type or pitta type or kapha type, that is primary. But uh, talking because our subject is uh, weight here. So in that case, very important is I, if I say very simply, eat according to your digestive fire. Do not uh, eat things which your digestive fire may not digest. Sometimes people have so low digestive fire that they cannot even digest things which are easily digestible. So here, because the problem is with the fire, so we need to work on the fire. Second thing I would say that there are certain diets which, are, which become popular because it helps someone this is very common now it uh, one person you know takes a particular diet and this person cures a particular disease maybe even cancer or something so they they write a book on that you know this is the diet so in ayurveda we don't believe in this because every person is unique so if you really want to find the best diet for yourself uh, first you look at your constitution then you try to look at what is the condition of your fire digestive fire if the fire is low then you have to increase the fire if fire is you know irregular then you make it regular so that is the second criteria for the diet and of course uh, even there are certain things now we say that if so, some things are 
not suitable for you because everybody is not it's like now we talk about let's say we talk about uh, milk for example so some people the milk milk is not digestible some people cannot digest gluten so that could be the cause of their weight gain even some people have allergy to nuts they cannot uh, eat uh, you know some all these almonds and walnuts and peanuts they cannot eat peanut butter they have allergy so you have to also understand your system what is your system and then accordingly you choose the diet so i don't think we should go for all these kind of diets you know which are going around uh, ayurvedically if you want to say what diet i will say just eat khichdi <laughs> eat khichdi for 7 days in fact you know there is a diet now in america one of my my friends you know he is ayurvedic doctor he is uh, created also a diet ayurvedic diet it's called i think hot hot belly diet and uh, this is primarily eating khichdi you know khichdi is a very nice uh, recipe because it is easily digestible it is tridoshic means it balances all the three doshas and it is uh, also giving you some uh, vit- vitamins minerals and energy so this is uh, something which you can take ayurvedically if you want uh, a proper diet from ayurveda i would say breakfast you can take sprouts you can take maybe some fruits in the breakfast sometimes a whole wheat bread yes. and if you want to have milk then skimmed milk then uh, between lunch and uh, uh, breakfast in between you don't take uh, any like snacks or some biscuits or that kind of stuff maybe some juice fruit juice is good okay. in the lunch time take some lentils dal mm-hmm. uh, one vegetable green vegetable seasonal vegetable you can have some rice little bit or uh, you can also have salad some uh, maybe bread again if you want this is lunch buttermilk is very nice again you can make a nice buttermilk in the lunch time mm-hmm. between uh, lunch and dinner again in in the middle some herbal tea will be very nice ginger tea mint tea and dinner can be soup uh, some nuts maybe uh, if you are very hungry make khichdi is very good so this is a simple diet you can use in india we have different kind of uh, porridges also uh, which are made from rice or something which are normally very easy to digest so anything which is light so yeah. more simple it's more better simple so thank you so much for your suggestions it is so useful and i hope every women uh, they find it very useful and they will apply it in their daily life Yeah and uh, the most important thing is that don't think that only skinny women are beautiful you know you should just love who you are and just maintain who you are accept yourself and know your nature yes. thank you thank you